Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Cats are being goofy. Today is Tuesday, April 11th. Deb, it's April 11th. Just so you know, it's not July, it's April. That's for Deb from work. So, um, listen, guys, actually, I, uh, you know, it's funny, it's like I, I listen to you guys a lot, I, I read the comments, and I do take in what you guys say. So, um, after reading the comments and everything yesterday, I did make an executive decision. And uh, I'm going to tell you what I what I did and what we're going to do here, okay? Now, there's six panels on this string. I can add three more panels onto this string here. Um, and that's going to be able, my charge controller that I have, and I'll go into the building in a second and I'll show you that, can handle three more panels and that'll, that'll be the max that I could put on that string, okay? And that would be 2,250 watts. So what I've done... Uh, last night I purchased a, another charge controller, another Midnight Classic, uh, 150 again, and I ordered actually four 250 watt solar panels. So what I'm planning on doing is these six are going to stay on this string. When the new panels get here and a new charge controller, I'm going to put them on their own string, and in this way, between the two charge controllers, I can go up to 4,500 watts on my system, okay? Uh, this way, we're going to go from having 1,500 watts right now up to 2,500 watts uh, by buying the four solar panels. So um, I'm actually pretty excited about that. I think I'm going to go with something different than the way I have these mounted. Like I said, I want to get them, um, get something over here, get them up higher in the air, and... Uh, figure out exactly which configuration way I'm going to put them. Um, like I said, I do listen to you guys, and a lot of people said don't go with the tracker. Uh, just buy more panels and spread the panels around so they're catching more of the sun during the course of the day. And I think that does make sense. And then you're not relying on electronics and everything like that. I can just put them out, have them do their job, and, you know, just make me more power. What I want to do, though, is, like I said, I do want to get something that I can get them up higher and once I get you know build something so that they're up higher and then maybe eventually get these up into a higher rack as well and do it that way so um, I am still believe it or not still waiting on a check that's supposed to come and so when that check comes I'm debating whether I should add more solar panels or how I'm gonna do that I haven't really decided exactly what I'm gonna do with that yet but like I said with the four panels that I just bought it's going to bring us up to 2,250 watts for our solar system so this summer we should be absolutely jamming we should be in float first thing in the morning stay in float all day and then we do run into the night so the batteries will because somebody had said to me well you don't want them in float all the time those batteries are designed to be drawn down and then recharged up and I said well relax a second and so I'm going to explain to you, too, the, the concept is I want to keep them in float during a day like that when the power, you know, the sun's out there. And then at night, as we use it, because we're night birds, we like to stay up late at night, um, we can run into the night on the, on the batteries, bring them down to that 24-4, which is 50%. Now I'm going to tell you, um, over the course of the winter, I baby the crap out of my batteries, and... Um, I, they, I, I want them to last, so I'm I'm always really keeping an eye on where they're at, and like I said, I won't take them below 24.4. That's 50%. That's taking it down to a 50% discharge, and that's the max that I'm going to go. Um, there's a lot of days, even now with only 1,500 watts, we get a, we get up into float. I know when I put four more panels out here, we are going to be in float early in the day. We're going to stay in float all day long. <clears throat> and that's 20, 28 six is it, it puts us in float. So um, I definitely will be looking at having uh, something else. Some, a couple people had made some suggestions, uh, getting a, uh, like a regular hot water heating tank and utilize that extra power to heat water, which does make a lot of sense. Uh, so I, I may do something like that. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do everything yet, but like I said, uh, Power's been on my mind. I've been talking about power forever in a day. 
and uh, so that's been like my complete focus other than like I said I wanted to get this tree down over here which you know we got that down so that once that was out of the way then I'm like okay so that's knocked out you know um, we got this area obviously opened up now which is awesome and uh, you know it's with getting the the more panels now that has, has been my focus um, like I said, everything is pre preparation for the following winter. So as each year goes by, if I can add on, you know, more solar every year, it's just going to put us in that much better shape. And, um, like I said, I want to get these up as well. So I got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that with everything. If I want to build my own rack and just have it like, you know, have something up and then have the rack and, and put all these guys in that rack. I, I, I could do something like that. We're going to have to see um, exactly how we're going to do it. I'm going to have to, like I said, I'm going to figure everything out. But, uh, you know, so let me take you in the building. And I want to explain a little bit what we're going to end up doing here. Got a little fire going over here, burning some crap. All right. So let me turn this on. Okay. So what I'm going to do, we have the Midnight Classic, the 150 Midnight Classic here. We'll end up putting in a second one, probably like over here, so that everything's going to end up being um, like this string is, you know, obviously coming in. We're going to have the second string coming into the second Midnight Classic and everything tying together and feeding into the batteries. So this way, this is not going to be overtaxed right now and then that one obviously won't be either because of the fact that it'll, it'll be a 1000 watts on that one. It'll be 1500 watts on this one and then as we add more panels we'll get the one that we're going to have over here um, even with the that one first. So we'll get that one up to 1500 and then, you know, we'll just add on as we go from there. But uh, I could probably do, um, with the two Midnight Classics, I could take my system up to 4,500 watts without a problem at all. Now, eventually, I'm going to have to add more batteries. There's no doubt about that. But, like I said, the, the, the focus has been, here recently, working on getting the system, um, you know, getting more solar panels. And, and like I said, I knew that if I could only put three more panels on this one, um, so I just said, you know what, I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to go ahead and buy the, the second Midnight Classic and get that one here. And the new panels are going to go on that. So this is going to stay with the 1,500 watts on this system. I'm going to have the 1,000 on the other one. And as we buy more panels, hopefully later this year, we'll add more onto that one. So it's it's going to be, uh, we're going to be kicking some butt here um, at 2,500 watts. And uh, so that's going to be, that's going to be a good thing. And it's just, you know, it's, I'm going to tell you what, looking back, we started out, and if anybody's been following my channel, like I said, we've been here almost two years now. Uh, it'll be two years in June. Started out with a 12 volt system, 750 watts of solar, and you know, um, not a great inverter, not a great charge controller, and that's how we started out. And so, after that first winter, I knew that we needed to do a major, major upgrade. So, we ended up switching out all the batteries because I had uh, Trojan T105 batteries that first year. Switched out the batteries, um, ended up buying the L16E batteries that we have now. Ended up buying another 750 watts of solar, which brought us up to 1500 watts. And it was amazing last year, going from the 750 watts to 1500 watts, the difference in the amount of power production that we had, you know, bringing in. Um, so, you know, with doing these things, it, 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 the biggest thing, guys, is, is is sticking with it and not giving up in... Uh, it's perseverance. I mean, it's uh, it's a pain in the butt. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. I mean, this you know this winter again, we had to rely not as bad this year as we did the previous year on the generator over the course of the winter. Okay, but um, 
the ultimate goal, as I've said before, is eventually to get to myself a point where we have enough solar that we can get through the winters okay as well and just have the uh, generator as a backup. And um, so that's the goal. I mean, I eventually want to have uh, probably in the neighborhood of about 6,000 watts up here. That's the ultimate goal, okay? So, you know, methodically, as long as we continue to build at it, uh, by adding 1,000 watts here now in the spring, it's going to put us in great shape. I mean, like I said, we're going to be rocking right into the fall. And then, you know, I do plan on adding more panels. And uh, we're just, like I said, we're just going to keep plugging away at it, you know. Um, obviously, there's going to be other things going on as well. But uh, solar for, you know, like I said, I have two teenage kids. They want power, you know, so, and I want to make sure that they have it. Keeping things as normal as possible, uh, living off grid, is key. Especially if you got if you have kids, you want to try to keep things as normal as possible. Not have you know huge drastic changes. And I know that like when we first moved up here, I had told the kids right in the very beginning. I said, listen, I said the first two weeks up here are probably going to suck, and they did. I don't think we got the uh, cable hooked up for. Like the first five days we were here, we didn't have cable. And, you know, like I said, it was just, it, everything was a work in progress. And it's going to continue to be a work in progress. I mean, I have a lot that I want to do up here, and it's going to take time. And, uh, you know, it just, uh, that's, you just do it methodically, you know. And, you know, before you know it, you're banging stuff out and it's getting done. And uh, that's awesome. And that's what it's all about. So, you know, that's what we're just going to keep doing. And uh, I'm... Like I said, I'm real happy with the way things have gone, and uh, we're getting there, guys. I mean, this is going to be a huge, huge improvement for our solar system, and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how jacked up the system's going to be with another 1,000 watts running. Uh, I think it'll be fun. So, anyway, so I wanted to, you know, share that with you. That's what I decided to do. That's the way I've gone. Like I said, I listened to your comments, and... Uh, you know that's the way we decided to do things and so that's how we're going to go moving forward so um, i'll probably be giving bill from bill and rose a call so you're probably going to hear from me bill just to touch base with you and see exactly how to make sure i do everything the right way but i'm pretty sure you know we're going to have it squared away good but uh, anyway so listen guys i hope everybody's doing well stay out of trouble and uh, you know brian we're going to be rocking on power up here brother we're going to have to worry about that at all so Anyway, guys, listen, I hope everybody's doing well, and I will talk to you all soon. Remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. Make sure you tell them how you feel, okay? And remember, guys, it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever your goals are, you can reach them. You really, truly can. Do not listen to negativity. Do not let people hold you back with negativity. Stay focused on your goals and your dreams and whatever they are. I mean, like I said, whatever. If you want to be a painter, you know, don't let people tell you you can't do it. You know, stick with what you believe in and live your dreams. That's what it's about. I mean, if we don't have hope and dreams, what do we got, you know? So anyway, guys, I hope you all are doing great. I hope you're having a good week. And um, not a bad day here today. We did get some rain earlier today. And uh, so things were a little bit more wet again. It was drying up pretty good. But I think the rest of the week is supposed to be pretty decent. So I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse went out for now.